It's been said many times, beside every successful man, there is a woman. In the case of the Eve family, Constance Eve was a strong, dedicated woman standing by her husband and her family. She passed away yesterday, and today we are remembering her and all of her accomplishments. Constance Connie Eve, wife of the former New York State Deputy Assembly Speaker Arthur O. Eve, strong, determined, an advocate for humanity and the dignity of women, and she was heard by leaders of the free world. We assure you, Mr. President, that we will all continue to serve as models of empowerment. She founded Women for Human Rights and Dignity, or WHRD, in 1980 to help rehabilitate women charged with minor crimes. It was a place for women to go instead of jail. It didn't make sense just to provide an alternative for a place to live. We had to equip the women with what got them there in the first place that they didn't have. When you see Dignity Circle in Buffalo, think about Connie Eve. She was behind homes specifically built for women in that program. When you talk about giving thanks, I was allowed to do this. I now give you Connie Eve. Connie Eve often Thank on political you. stages, whether it was with her kids running for office, and of course she was side by side with her husband. And when a mural was unveiled on a school named after her husband? Claudine, this is indefinable. As gifted as I think I am with words, I don't have the words to describe this because one of the most valuable things that we can all do more than ever is education. A woman with a distinct voice, a retired English professor, always there for family and community. Nothing like teamwork, the power of collective action. And he was blessed to be able to lead that and to produce the results. So I want to say thank you, thank you. This is special. An uncrowned queen, a community treasure, a woman who received her flowers and some while alive. Constance Bowles Eve was 91 years old. And just last year, the Buffalo Juneteenth Festival named Connie Eve the inaugural festival queen because she was a source of inspiration for all of Western New York.